Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Chef John Morris again, man, presenting to you how to make Jamaican brown stew fish. We know about sardine, yeah. mackerel, yeah. bully beef, yeah. chicken foot, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. Nothing our waste, nothing our dash way. These are perfectly normal. I have a video out on where I show you how to descale and clean your fish. And I told you, if you see the eyes looking white like this, when you buy it in the store, it's not good. However, these are like this because I washed it in vinegar and water. And the vinegar tends to have that effect on them whereas it changes the color. But these are perfectly normal, right? But if you get them directly from the store, the eyes are looking like this, chances are they're not good. And you also check for a firm to the touch flesh you know what i say so you know it's good if you press it like that and your finger burst through the flesh it's getting rotten one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning half teaspoon of pepper mix one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder We just want to season like within the belly of the fish and the head. Careful of the bones, just gently rub that seasoning in. Get in those creases. So right now I have my red snapper here and it's well seasoned right short. The film I say I want to kickstart this brown steel fish by prepping some simple vegetables. Nothing over the top. These are what we're going to use. I'm going to start here with one Roma tomato. Just cut the top off, the bottom off real quick. We're just going to put this in quarters, right? So about that. So tomatoes done. Real quick and easy. I'm using here multicolored bell peppers, red, yellow, and green. So Rastaman colors what we're going with, right? And I'm using about a quarter of each pepper, nothing too much. You don't want to overdo this with the sweet peppers, right? I'm just going to cut those into nice julienne strips. So just like so, nice batons, right? And I have here some fresh thyme about three to four stalks already washed. We're gonna go in now, half of this white onion. For onion, we're just gonna cut this into nice half a moon, right? Spin that around. And there, nice, beautifully cut onions. Add that right on there. And then of course, Nothing cannot complete without some scotch bonnet. So I'm going into about three slices of that scotch bonnet. You know what? One more for the show. Like it nice and spicy. Some people may opt to use some okra, but these are what I want to use in my brown stew. I like to leave the okra for the steam fish. You feel me, I say? Which, of course, I have a video out on, so you can check that out. I will also have excavage fish. So if you're new here, those are some of the fish dishes that we have out that you can check out at your convenience. But today, strictly brown stew. And of course, we have a whip that up with some bami. Add our pan on, and we're gonna go in now with some cooking oil. So bring up the temp, a cup and a half of oil to about 350 to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's what we're gonna fry our fish in. You feel me, I say? So to bring some flavor to the brown stew fish, we have to season up the oil. So what we're going with, one scotch bonnet pepper, two garlic, you feel me, I say? I will allow those to ooze out all that flavor into the oil. We're gonna go in now with my red snapper. It's not so red anymore, because guess what? You have all that seasoning on it. Just drop that in, just like that. So we're gonna fry this for about seven minutes. Three and a half minutes on each side, just to get it nice and crisp and golden brown. You know what I say? I'm 
gonna leave this to soak for about five minutes to absorb all the flavor from this milk. You see what I'm saying? And then we're gonna fry that up. Kind of soft in the bottom of it, get them moist. So the fish is now ready, and we're just gonna remove that. So we got that golden look all around, right? That's what you want, to fry it, right? Drain the excess oil. Face that on a plate like that. Nice fried fish, man, and dry. That's what you want. So just before we finish off that brown stew fish, we're gonna fry this bami nice and crispy. Just drain the excess liquid from them. Place them down in that same oil, man. So while we're frying these bags, we can turn the oven on preheat to at about 200 degrees there about. So when we don't fry them, we keep them in there to stay nice and warm while our fish cook down in that sauce, right? I want to fry these at a temperature of 300, nothing too high because we don't want to burn them, we want to slowly cook them. And these are deep fried, so you don't even have to worry about burning them. You just kind of move them around so that they don't stick or get burned in one spot. Just going to fry these for about 5 minutes. Get them nice and golden brown. Alright, these are golden. See me? Let's remove those man. Just gonna drop these in the oven to stay warm. You feel the mess? Eh? Gonna throw this excess oil off. That's a white. Back on the corn stove. So everything is already hot. So what you want to do? Go in with your scotch body peppers and your onion. Add my thyme, half the amount of my thyme in. We're going with about six to seven grains of pimento seeds, a tablespoon of oyster sauce, half teaspoon of soy sauce, and a tablespoon of tomato ketchup. So saute those up, then we're going to deglaze that pan with one and a half cup of water. I'm going to go in with one tablespoon of butter. I like butter in my fish, nice and, you know, creamy. This doesn't need a lot of salt because our fish is already seasoned to the bone, right? And this we have the soya sauce which has its salt content and we have the oyster sauce. The butter as well have a bit of flavor. So go right in now with our fish. Some of that sauce on top man. Feel the say? Nice and easy. So gonna cover that and allow this to steam down for about seven to eight minutes. So eight minutes has passed, time for us to check our fish. And look at that color, everything up, reduction in the sauce, nice and silky. You know what I say? What we're gonna do now? Look at that. All that beauty, man. Cause you don't want your sauce to be darker than this, you know. Carrots are nice and still firm. So we're gonna go in the remainder of our thyme, and of course the bell peppers and tomatoes. Because these are two things that you don't want to overcook. See? Just like that. Two teaspoons of cornstarch. We're going to add four teaspoons of water to the two teaspoons of cornstarch. Just to thicken up things a bit and make everything 
come together, you feel me? So we mix this out to ensure there's no lump. Lump free. And we're just gonna add a little bit at a time. A little bit here. Mix that in right away. A little bit over here. And we mix it in right away. So it doesn't become lumpy. Nice smooth sauce we are looking for man. A little bit over here so. Yeah man. Mix that out, see? Nice gravy we are looking for. And a little bit here. So we didn't even use all of that. So in total we use about two tablespoons to mix product, right? And it left us with this nice silky sauce. And look at this fish, how bland it looks. Gonna coat that with it. And the beauty of the fish comes out. Coat the vegetables as well. Everything has come together now. You feel me? I'll tip a bit of water in this. About a quarter cup. At this point, you can taste our sauce to see if we need to add any salt. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Perfect. I don't have to add any salt to this. What the reduction in the... <coughs> that pepper is fire. What the reduction does, when it reduces, it brings out more flavor and more salt in your liquid, right? So all that flavor from the fish and the vegetables automatically reduce and get more and yet intensify see so the sauce eh, is going to get thicker as the corn starts cook so i'm just going to cook this for two more minutes turn this off and we'll go then always move away from here you don't want to steam burn you up see and take a look at that my people see it's 1 30 a.m in the morning body call for some brown stew fish or have to deal with the thing see look at that beauty look at that sauce in Dutch I'm really taking up my connoisseur look at those vegetables nice and fresh look at those tomatoes we don't want it we want to be able to identify our vegetables tomatoes are still whole Onion still did so. Everybody in the carrot, the carrot in the sit in there. Everybody. Plate this up nice and easy. Rise up the sea creature. And there. Beauty. Bring up some of that veg now. And with the bummy you know. And there you have it. How to prepare brown steel snapper here on more stand cooking it once again thank you very much for watching and do remember to hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos like these until next time safe travel upon the grapple and go and big up on yourself but know you fast girl and have to tell me Cause I know any, any man can feed you So that's why I always take me to the kitchen Yeah, yeah, yeah